go wet. Because of the health and safety side of things, this is Pack X, it protects the glass, so when we cut through it, it doesn't give off so much dust. If we put it on one of those side windows, instead of just exploding, it holds all the gas in place. So because there's so much crowd gathered around, when we cut through this screen, it would give off dust. So we're just preparing it ready to make sure that you guys don't breathe glass dust in. We normally do it on the job as we go. We're just preparing things. We're cheating a little bit, really. Okay. I don't know what the fence right? The screen, like I said earlier. Let's see if I can turn this up a bit. One, two. Can you hear me in the back? How about now? I think that's all it goes. But actually, our bread and butter, most of the cars are still on all fours. So we do a lot of training with the car still on all fours. So we're going to put a casualty in. Happens to be a female again, because they both want to try being a casualty. Um, fourth goal, currently the running second in extrication teams in Wales. The fourth goal team is in the National Challenge again in September, competing against teams across the country. Um, we've had some good run-ins, team's been going for 10 years. And we compete. Bridgend, our team from Bridgend, is the best team in the world. They won the Worlds three years running. They win it all the time. They are an amazing team. Not only out on the road, but in the competitions, they just know how to get the marks, and they are fantastic. So we're trying to follow on their example. So we've been going for 10 years, and it's hard to get into, but we're finally there, just behind Bridgend. We're in the second team in Wales, and we come normally top 10 in the UK, which is good. We've never been to the Worlds yet. It's quite And Danny's a really bad driver, and she's been involved in another car crash this year. I'm telling you, Dad, you better slow down. You better not be texting while you're driving, because that's what causes this. Do you want to say anything to the crowd? Oh. No. I know. <laughs> she's in safe hands, trust me. Okay, so we're going to assume this car's been involved in the collision. She's trapped in the vehicle. And when you approach, until the commander's done safety, do full 360 with a casualty Identifying all the hazards. We don't know what we're going to find. We don't know what's going to be involved, what sharks. Be aware of the subscription glass contaminants on the deck. Ready? On edge. One female casualty spotted in front sight. Assume the back is alive and came around the back. They still can't approach until he's done his full 360. Everything must be safe for the crew. It's no good rushing in and causing more harm to the casualty and injury to the crew. Safe to approach. So he's done his full 360, identified everything as it is. They know now to make that stable platform we were talking about. That car as it is rocks about. Okay, see now in the front. We take the keys out of the vehicle. Modern vehicles, all their safety systems are live until you remove the keys. We go for the keys, get the keys out and away from the vehicle, and that will disarm within 30 seconds all the safety systems for us. Something that we do. So he's got the bag vessel on the steering wheel. We protected the steering wheel so if the SRS now fires, it gets captured in a web. So it doesn't injure the casualty or the casualty carer further. So it's on the steering wheel, you can see it's a blue and white thing. And that's made that area safe. They're carrying on now making this vehicle safe, a stable platform. So just by putting the chalks in means it doesn't bounce anymore. 
so we can't cause any further injury to the Palestinian side. Officer in charge is coming up with his plan, and it could be a million plans. So we can get the casualty out to the side, get the casualty out to the other side, take the casualty out through the back, or we're going to take the roof off. We're going to take the roof off, just so you all can see that we can take the roof off. They discuss the plan, and some of them move on vehicles, and when there's two or three cars involved, it can be tricky. So they discuss the plan. So casualty carers have climbed in, they're talking to Demi, making sure she's okay and taking vitals. Pulse, breathing, any medication she's on. It's a little cutter, but it can cut really strong things. So Nathan's coming in with a cutter. And he's going to cut the stain on the dock. Okay, so we cut the stay on the door and it opens the hell a lot further than it used to. And now we're going to cut the hinges. Get two hinges and the door's away. So if the casualty gets worse, as we're doing our extrication and needs immediate, we need an immediate plan that we can lift the casualty up. At that point, if they're going to... Um, become further injured, we get them out really quickly so they can be treated outside. So we remove the door so we've got immediate access. However, with C-spine injury, we'd rather get the casualty out in, in line as possible. So the casualty will actually be extricated through the rear. Nice and safe. But you can see two cuts and the door's off. It hasn't left any sharps that's going to get us. And now we have full access to Demi so that we can assess if there's any bleeding or anything. She was going fast, she was speeding, she doesn't normally. But in this occasion she was, she wasn't paying attention look, and, and has been involved with this bullet. We're going to remove the boot lid the same way. I'm going to take some pictures. Again, it's two cuts. And the boot lids are right. And they're actually you know, flying along. But taking their time. They could go along. It's not about speed. It's about safety. And the boots are right. As easy as that. So we got full access to the rear and full access to the side already. They've already folded down the back seats because most cars will fall down. And we got all this access. We could wind the seat back and just extricate Demi straight through the back. We're not going to do that. We want more room. We don't want to just cram her through a little space. So we're going to take the whole thing away. Um, but actually, if anything went worse now and Demi, we discovered Jen internal bleeding need to come out, we can actually do that pretty quickly from this point. And it's been six minutes. <laughs> Take the other door off so you can see what happens. Cut the little stain, the door goes forward a bit further. Two hinges, the door comes away. <laughs> And it's off. Easy as that. Any car, any car will cut off like that. It's exactly the same. I know it's an old PA. The hinges are made of the same stuff. Those cutters will cut through any car. Every time. I think I think they must be able to Okay, they're discussing the plan. 
The C post to the worst at the back. Our cut has already got so much reach. To cut through a C post. So I'm going to cut one side and then the other. We'll just get the saw, and the saw will just saw straight through the seas. Once that's done, Nate's going to come in. do the seas with the saw. I know it's louder, but it just flies through the way it's easier than moving around with a cutter. But if you can see, watch this cutter cut through this post. And when they come around the other side, you guys will get to see it. It's like a piece of cheese. It just keeps going. Brought about a casualty in there. Worried about the Yeah, back injuries, C spine possible injuries, she's involved in a big crash. But they're looking after her, telling her everything's gonna be okay. And uh, it's been, you know, ten minutes, believe it or not, for all it's been. Another couple of cuts in this roof will come away. You can now see from this side, they just hold the cutter on that post, and it just keeps going. You can hold it on, put it, it'll just chew straight through. And that's what it does. So this is the last cut. Okay, test lift. We're going to make sure everything is free. Yeah, stepping away. And then the officer in charge decides forward or back. Roof comes off. Goes down on the ground. Any car. Any car we can do that to. Any car. No matter how bad. If we want the roof off, the roof comes off. There's some sharps here we're going to get covered. They'll do this as a matter of course to make sure they don't put their hand down on anything. 
So every little sharp that we've created could cause harm to one of us or the casualty or a paramedic. So we protect the area, cover it. Well done. 